everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'll be drawing um college majors from the title as magical girls so i got this idea because i was in a bit of an art block because i haven't drawn a lot of stuff in a long time because i was busy with college and stuff and i was like well why don't i just turn my pain and suffering into an actual art project so i decided to do chemistry first because i had an idea for chemistry long before the other college majors I was planning to do. So for chemistry, I wanted to kind of incorporate the whole um, chemical aspect of a chemist. So her jacket is almost like a white coat. Um, I gave her some safety goggles and I also added at the end um, little symbols of the periodic elements in the hem of her skirt, which I thought was a nice little um, nudge to the periodic table. I also added this little um, bottle and I got the idea of the little bottle around her neck from a Honkai Star Real character, um, Natalie I think her name is, and she's the usual doctor that you see um, when you're, and she's one of the main healers, so I got the idea from her, but for the rest of it, I kind of just went with the flow, I decided to add, incorporate a lot of blue and green, hence the reason why my line art is a dark blue and a dark green, because I kind of, I didn't want the line art to be too harsh, but I also wanted it to be dark enough so that it could stand out. And I actually had a fun time drawing this character because I, I had an idea for her for the longest of a while. I just haven't had time to sit down and draw it. And I really liked how it came out. Um, I decided to do everything magical girly esque. Added this frilly skirt, the um, the little shoes, the little boots. Um, I gave her some latex gloves because, you know, she's working in the lab. And, you know, safety comes first. And I try to stick with like a very similar color palette, so a lot of whites, a lot of grays, a lot of blues, and a lot of greens. I try not to deviate from that too much. I decided to do chemistry and eventually biology first because those are the two majors I'm most familiar with because of the major I'm doing in college, which is biology. I figured that I'll have a lot more knowledge and input when it comes to like the character design rather than a major that I am nowhere near familiar with. So um, that's why I stick with chemistry and biology first. I did chemistry first even though my major is biology because I just had the vision and I couldn't get the vision out of my head so I decided to do chemistry first and then biology it took me a little while to get something put together because biology has a lot of like subjects and field areas that are incorporated into it where chemistry is very basic. Um, of course there's a lot of unique concept areas you could do for chemistry so like you could be an inorganic chemist or organic chemist it just kind of depends on what you're interested in but chemistry is a lot less um, broad than biology so I felt like finding a little team for chemistry was a lot easier than finding a team for biology only because um, yeah chemistry has a lot of different concepts and subjects incorporated into it but it's not as broad as biology. Biology could go many different ways from the environmental side all the way to the human biology side. But for chemistry, it's a bit more, less broad. So now I'm just doing like the final touches. Right now I'm adding the symbols from the elements on the periodic table. And I wanted the background to kind of look like a periodic table. And that's it for chemistry. Hope you guys like her. So biology, I um, even though biology is actually my actual major in college, I had a little rough time finding a concept for biology because like I said before when I was doing chemistry, um, biology is very broad and there's a lot of different ways you could take the biology. You could go more environmental, you could go more um, human biology, um, animal biology, plant biology. There's so many different like concepts in biology that it's kind of hard to like stick with one particular team to like incorporate this person into a magical girl so i decided to lean a bit more towards environmental and plant biology with a little bit of human biology not a lot but just a little little bit and that's because i felt like it was easier to make a concept around um, someone who really likes nature and just really likes like discovering stuff out in the nature because that's how a lot of biology majors kind of get into it i know for a fact for me I love reading about like nature and like stuff that happens in the National Geographic Kids Kids um, magazine. So I that's how I kind of got interested in science in the first place. And then as I did more school stuff, I became more interested in biology and learning all kinds of new concepts about stuff. So that's what I kind of wanted to um, 
incorporate that into this design. Um, I started by coloring the hair. Um, I'm really proud of this hair. I'm trying to um, do more like um, natural hairstyles for some of my colored um, characters. So I decided to give her like a little afro with some braids in the back and I really like that. Um, I was kind of going for like a little earthy girl so that's what I was going for. And then the red incorporated into the um, magical girl outfit kind of represents more animal and human biology. I kind of wanted it to, to kind of look like um, muscles kind of. I'm not sure if it actually got portrayed as well as I wanted to but I think that I wanted to do more like muscle ligaments and that's why I have like the little red um, pops of red in the colors. I tried to stay as earthy as possible by giving her a lot of browns, some reds, and some yellowish golds, and of course some greens. And then for um, her boots, I'm really proud of her boots because I kind of wanted them to be give them a bit more of a heel, but I also wanted um, it to match the entire outfit. So I kind of gave her a little slit of green in the middle and then some brown to go like over the green spot and I really liked how that design came out. I'm very proud of that. And then I decided to add some cells in the background. I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. This is it for the video so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.